So welcome to the iPad and iPhone event in spring 2016 for Apple. Uh, we've got a couple of new pieces of hardware. One of them is this iPhone 5 SE. The iPhone 5 SE is a, obviously, as you can see, a smaller version of the iPhone uh, 6S, uh, or if, depending on how you look at it, an upgraded version of the iPhone 5. But uh, I say the 6S because it really does have all of the internals that you find in, in a 6S uh, device, aside from the 3D touch sensors. The 3D touch sensors on the screen, which sense finger pressure, aren't present in this device. But almost every other piece of hardware that Apple packed into the iPhone 6 is. So you've got a very upgraded version of their smaller four inch form factor. Uh, these clock in at 399, uh, which makes it great for entry level iPhone buyers, first time buyers, emerging markets, at least that's what Apple's hoping. Uh, some of the hardware inside includes the A9 uh, processing chip, along with the M9 motion coprocessor, which enables features like Hey Siri. Uh, you also have live photos instead of the a hard press uh, that the iPhone 6 does because this doesn't have 3D touch. So with just a hard press on the screen, or, or a soft press on the screen, you get the live photo action here, as you can see. The new processor also enables things like 4K video, uh, which the new iPhone 5 SE is capable of shooting. So you've got a 4K video here shot on the phone. Uh, it can simultaneously edit two streams of 4K video at a time. Uh, these specs are very similar, of course, to the iPhone 6, but in a much smaller package. Uh, you've got new microphones in here to pick up better sound. And of course, because it does have the Touch ID sensor, you have Apple Pay. So that's the new iPhone 5 SE. Comes in several colors, including rose gold. Uh, and this particular device is just a smaller, cheaper, runs 399, uh, version of the iPhone 6 for entry-level customers to help ramp people onto the system.